I actually installed Windows 11 on my Android phone. So here it is. This is my Android phone and you can see it's running the Windows 11 and it's working perfectly, I guess, for a phone. And uh, yeah, surprisingly, this thing is actually running pretty well. I actually wanted to see what's up with the Windows 11 ARM because you can't emulate Windows 11 ARM on Windows or Linux. I tried but failed. This is something that I have been trying to do for a while now, but finally I did it. And uh, uh, maybe this viewing experience isn't that great for you guys. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to remote desktop this to show you guys inside what's up and all the things okay so yeah this this viewing angle isn't that great but the user experience is pretty good actually okay you can see i'm opening the start menu it opens i'm opening the settings yeah it takes a couple of seconds but yeah there it is i'm opening the web browser yeah I'm, i don't know how but microsoft edge opens like butter in this thing all right and I also have Firefox installed and other things. Okay, so let me actually do a RDP for you guys. Okay, so that would be much better way to show you guys what's inside and all that. And here it is. Okay, so in RDP, uh, you know, whatever device you're using based on that, it's going to give you the screen resolution so it's not portrait anymore uh, even on phone you can also use it on portrait or landscape it auto rotates or you can lock the rotation and all that pretty cool right <laughs> this is impressive actually so first let me show you guys the specs all right so you know that this is actually a android phone okay so yeah, uh, remote desktop is going to feel a little bit laggy, but it's not as laggy as uh, on like actual hardware. So here is my specs. OK, my phone Snapdragon 860, uh, six gigabytes of RAM, 64 bit operating system, ARM based processor. All right. Windows 11 Pro 23H2. So, yeah, these are the specs. And this is actually a phone. <laughs> this is this is funny. And if my uh, voice sounds a bit weird, that's because I have cold and I'm taking medicine. Sometimes these medicines also makes me go dizzy. I don't know why. I'm trying to open a GIMP here. Hopefully it works. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the GIMP is actually available for ARM. Uh, let's open the task manager. This is going to make this thing go even slower. Wow, it's it's pretty good actually. 20% uh, CPU isn't that bad for a phone. Okay, memory. Let's go into the performance. Wow, the GPU is also working. Look at that. GIMP is still loading. It's not giving up. Wow, I'm impressed. Last time I tried it, uh, it gave me some errors. Maybe, you know, something needs to be installed or something. I don't know. But somehow now this time it's working. Wow, okay. Okay, it's still loading. Yeah, it worked. Hello. How? It's not even like the native, uh, you know, uh, ARM application, I think. I don't know. Let me do a quick Google search, maybe. Oh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it is available for ARM, actually. Yeah, the one that I'm using is maybe the ARM one. That's why it loaded. And I installed it using the Microsoft Store, which means yeah it's for the arm you know it will auto detect that i'm using the arm pc so yeah okay <laughs> finally i'm like testing a windows 11 arm i have been trying to do this for a while now i tried creating windows 11 arm virtual machines and all that but failed but finally thanks to my phone now i know how and what windows arm is i just wanted to see what's up with the windows arm is it like significantly different than the normal windows 11 but it looks like it's it's a it's the same thing it is just made for different architecture that's all because i thought that maybe they have removed the you know classic uh, applications such as the control panel and all that and it's based on like the new modern design like uh, what we see in the settings 
Okay, maybe they have only settings application, not the old ones and all that. I was thinking that, but it looks like, no, uh, it's, it's the same Windows 11. There isn't anything new in Windows 11 ARM. The only thing that is new in Windows 11 ARM is the ARM. That's it. <laughs> okay, the processor architecture type is ARM. That's it. Maybe they offer some new features because you know, the new ARM CPUs have the uh, NPU in them, the neural processing unit, which is made for AI things. It will be able to run AI locally and all that. So that's the only difference. And I think the newer CPUs from the Intel and AMD also have the NPUs. I'm not here to do a comparison between ARM and x86. ARM is more energy efficient. Uh, processor than the x86 and all that so yeah but i'm here to, just to show you guys that yeah i installed windows 11 on my phone yeah <laughs> this is this is still unbelievable and again this thing actually runs really well on my system i don't know how can i play some games maybe just one game can i get some free ones oh, here is the free game tag so i'm gonna click on that this is also available for mobile but i'm just gonna install it just for fun you know just for testing i mean we were able to run gimp so it should be able to run almost anything as long as you know it handles that it's like a not so powerful windows 11 machine okay it can do everything but not beyond its power <laughs> okay it's limited by its power processing power i mean yeah but it is usable actually okay it's installing so yeah, installation is also going pretty fast. Let's open the task manager one more time. Let's see what's happening with the processes. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's pretty good for a phone running Windows 11. And this usage is pretty good. I think we are low on the memory side because memory is already at like 80%. I think we need at least eight gigabyte if possible, like 12 or 16 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah. Uh, yeah, new phones have those type of frames, but my phone is kind of old. Not that old, but yeah, I mean, it's still old for the Windows 11. Uh, it's actually Poco F... No, it's Poco X3 Pro. That's the phone that I'm using to run this Windows 11. And look at that. It's fast. Yeah, it feels slow because of the uh, RDP. I'm using RDP. It's pretty good. Uh, it can RDP can't render the games that well. I'm I'm pretty sure about that, but it's usable. I'm not using anything right now, and look at the memory usage. It's almost seventy percent already. Okay, seventy percent, which is a lot, because uh, I have only six gigabytes of RAM. So if I had like twelve or sixteen gigabytes of RAM, this would run really well. Because look at the CPU usage; it's sitting at four percent, which is pretty good. Okay. And even the GPU is working perfectly. Okay, so you can see there is the video decode happening. I think this is because of the RDP or maybe not. Or whenever I like move these things, yeah, this will go up because the video decoding is happening. Or no, it's the 3D acceleration happening. Oh, okay. No video encoding, decoding. Okay, let me, let me actually see if... Uh, the OBS works here. Let's download the exe file. This is not officially available for ARM. I'm pretty sure. This is a normal x86 uh, uh, application. And let's see if we can use this. Okay, OBS setup. Let's go. Our program files, OBS Studio. I'm pretty sure this is uh, the normal you know x86 application if you run x86 applications on windows 11 arm i'm pretty sure this is some kind of emulation happening or some kind of a layer like the compatibility layer thingy is happening here so it's still not going to give you the native performance okay it's like if you have ever used a linux before so there is this thing called wine proton all those things those things are actually a compatibility layers uh, to run windows applications on linux so i think the similar thing is happening with the windows 11 arm if you want to run the x86 applications 
okay so it's not gonna give you the you know i mean i don't know okay i cannot confirm this but i'm pretty sure this is like uh, the, it's not gonna give you the full native performance or all that I think so if the app is not natively available for arm okay so I'm trying to open the OBS studio let's see if this thing actually works yeah it is trying to launch so maybe it will take a couple of seconds oh yeah it did it did okay can we do the screen recording that's the question Da -da -dum -dum. boom boom okay so let's do a display capture oh <laughs> wow unexpected wow it's working now we have double crosshairs i don't know why okay let's see i'm gonna go into the settings yeah it's a bit slow i think we are low on the ram we need ram or uh, yeah i don't know maybe the storage is also not fast for windows 11 but it is unbelievable i want to go uh, let's go simple recording i'm gonna go with uh no i'm gonna have to go to the advanced recording now encoder is it really gonna support av1 but it has the option so let's actually select that boom boom for now just do the test record hopefully it will record let's see let's see the uh, task manager okay i think it's using the cpu to record i want this to record using oh it's also using the gpu too but it's still using the cpu more than gpu yeah that's 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 a lot okay let's stop this okay let's see where is the video file yeah there it is not that bad oh you can't play the av1 encoder <laughs> okay wow i'm i'm actually <laughs> impressed that this thing actually works i think we need to talk about how i did it and what's happening and how is it possible to install windows 11 on uh, Android phone so let me show you guys something here actually so let's disconnect that for now so there is this project called renegade project this project aims to you know port Windows 11 to Android devices I also did a video I think one or two years ago on this at that time it was super new and it is still super new okay you can see uh, this project has super car pro powers means you need a lot of knowledge plus it's like experimental and all that okay so this project if you go into the devices section here you can find in which devices you can install windows 11 so we have google pixel 2 to excel lg microsoft phones oneplus phones samsung phones xiaomi phones and that's all these are the phones officially supported by renegade project there are other phones which can also run windows 11 but these are the official ones currently this is the phone that i'm using okay and yeah uh, the installation guides and all the files that you require like the drivers and everything uh, is available at github yeah this is actually uh how do i say this if you have ever installed a custom rom on your phone this is gonna be really easy for you if you have never then do not try even for experts like you have installed custom roms before it still requires a little bit of knowledge okay you know how i think windows as a operating system it's a universal uh, operating system okay unlike the apple like if you want to install mac os you can't actually they don't distribute the operating system it comes with the hardware okay and you buy the hardware you get the operating system and you can't change that but windows is different you buy the hardware you can install whatever you want on that linux is also a universal operating system you can install that on anything windows is also kind of similar you can install this thing on any device as long as it supports you can get the iso for free and you know you can install it on uh, raspberry pi 
any PC now, any phone almost, it's not there yet. It's not gonna support all the devices. It's happening, okay? It's soon, I'm pretty sure, Windows on phone will actually become a thing and it will actually run pretty well thanks to new windows arm and i think that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it maybe i'll do a couple of more videos in this topic i don't know uh, if i find something interesting for now yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or you want to discuss something about this you know windows 11 on phone yeah, please do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.